Hey guys, my name is Boran Pover, and today I'm going to show you how to sell anything to anyone. Let's get to it. So many people out there talk about the fact that you can sell anything to anyone if you have the right strategies. Is it really true? That's what we're going to get into in today's video. And it's funny because it reminds me, I guess, that the famous scene in the in the uh, really really cool story and and uh, movie. If you didn't watch yet. Uh, the Wolf of Wall Street, when he's talking about the idea of, hey, you sell me that pen right now and show me if you know how to sell. So today I'm going to expand on the fact that there are a few ways for you to get sales, but I'm going to show you and give you different perspectives on how to do that and how you can do that for your business and give you another perspective on how you can do that also to buy businesses and basically grow your business by acquisitions. Because in the end of the day, you have two ways to grow companies. One of them is organically by just doing more sales and marketing, bringing in more customers. And the other way is to go out there and buy companies and buy your competitors and complementary businesses. And the same process applies there as well because it's more of a selling process than it is to actually buy something. It's more about you going out there, pitching yourself and showing your ways so the seller will be willing to sell the business to you and not to someone else. So today I'm going to expand on that and give you different thoughts on what I think are the best ways to master the world of sales. I think this is definitely one of the most, if not the most important thing you can learn if you want to become a business owner or an entrepreneur or an investor or anything in the space of businesses or just in general. Other people will say that sales is probably the most important skills in this world to, to learn because no matter what you do, you sell something. If it's that you have a job, you want to sell yourself there to your boss or many times it's even to sell yourself to your friends or family members or anyone else, or anyone in this space that you interact with. So today, we're going to expand on that. Let's get into the details now. Now, there are a few things that people will tell you that are really, really important in order to achieve the sale. That you got to have a specific script, that you got to sell using emotions, and then the buyer will justify things in logic. There are things like the fact that you want to talk about benefits and not features. There are things like, you need to find their problems first and then offer them the solutions or then show them the gap between where they want to be and where they are right now and show your service or your product or whatever you have to offer as the solution to fill that gap. So there's so many different sales trainings out there. One training will tell you, hey, you need to go and pitch hard and do whatever it takes to get the sale. Another way will tell you, hey, you need to chill and just ask questions and do what we call a consultative uh, selling process. So the question is, which one do you follow? Do you follow a specific? Because there's so many sales trainings out there, so many sales books, so many people you can follow and learn sales from. And you can get really overwhelmed if you go and watch all those sales trainings. And someone will tell you, this person will tell you this, and the other person will tell you something completely different. So who do you follow? And to begin with, I want to, I guess, get you really focused on the idea that it's more about it's not about a specific script or a specific method. Sales, and like anything in life, is about committing to master and telling to yourself, this is something I want to do and I'm going to do that. Now, other people might tell you, hey, it's, it's not about you training and, and doing more sales calls and more meetings and more interaction with people. Other people will just tell you, hey, you just need my script and you're done. You're the best salesperson in the world when you have that. And I just want to really open your eyes and just give you another set of eyes and, and make you objective about the fact that it's all about you mastering the process by doing it again and again and again, and then taking all those different trainings that you're taking from different places and finding, I guess, your own version of sales. Because you can learn really, like I said, sales from so many different strategies and techniques and everyone will tell you that his strategy is the best. But in the end of the day, there's no one strategy. The only best strategy out there is the one who make you practice the most. Like show me a person who did thousands of calls or thousands of meetings in selling that specific service and I'll show you a good salesperson. So that's what it comes down to. Now with sales, especially if you have a business that you want to grow, like I said in the beginning, there's two ways to grow that business. One of them is to try and get good at sales, one sale at a time, one client at a time, and really hum, hustle your way to one client at a time and learning that sales process in the meantime. The other way which I want to open your eyes to, especially if you have an existing business, now it's not a must. You can go and buy an existing business even if you never had a business before. 
or if you have an existing business, your best way to grow is by going and buying other companies. And when you go and do that, first of all, you're going to master the process of finding those businesses, of interacting with those business owners, and you're going to master the process of sales in general. But I think the beauty in this space of buying businesses or growing by acquisitions is that the fact that as soon as you buy a business, you're not just buying the actual business, its revenues, its profit, its clients, um, the employees, all the things that are in there, or basically all the assets and many times the liabilities as well. But I think the beauty is that you also buy their sales process. You also buy many times their employees who many times are masters in doing sales. And you just go out there and become the owner, the manager, and the one who's more responsible for the strategic decisions, for the vision of the company. And it's a completely different game in the space of business to go out there, grow business organically by becoming the best in, best in sales and selling one specific product. But I'm here to open your eyes that you can go out there, buy existing business or grow your existing business by acquisitions. And then you get immediate access to all the employees that are doing sales. So you basically get their mastery level. Because if you buy a business with 10 employees that are just doing sales, each of those salespeople did probably hundreds of calls or thousands of calls. And they basically good at sales most likely right now. And you are the owner of that thing right now. Versus if you only focus on master in sale, you can become really good at sales, but then you become the manager owner of your own business, knowing to sell a good service. So that, that's what I'm here to open your eyes to the fact that yes, you can do that. There's no wrong way. It just what's faster and what I guess is more in, in line with your goals. I'm here to open your eyes that I think it's, it's better to go and buy existing business or grow your existing business by acquisitions. And many times it's not going to cost you the same amount of capital. Like literally it's going to cost you less capital than it is to start a business. Like I see people who try to start a business just for advertising and marketing costs. They're going to spend fifty to $100,000. You can use that money to buy, to buy an existing business because you can then use the existing, the, the acquisition target assets as a leverage to purchase that business. So that's what I'm here to open your eyes to. Again, no wrong way. If you want to grow back with it by organic ways, go and do that. If you want to grow back acquisitions and you want to see if this space is a fit for you, um, I'm definitely here to open your eyes with me and my team. So if you want, go to moanpover.com forward slash talk and see the details there. And we can help you see if buying businesses or growing your existing business by acquisitions can fit you. Um, if it is, we'll show you how. And if not, we'll send you to someone else who can potentially help you achieve the outcome you want. So no matter what, we want to help you and we're happy to do a free call with you. So Go to moanpaber.com forward slash talk. See the details there. Otherwise, yeah, that's it for today. Short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you ever had a sales call before or a sales meeting and tell me what is your biggest lesson and what do you want to do moving forward with that skill or how do you plan to, to get your skill to the next level. So let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.